Hi friends, this is Bilal Hadar and this is my 33rd video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, I'll be talking about another indicator which is called accelerator oscillator and it's Bill Williams indicator. Let's click it. And here you can see this is called the AC or accelerator oscillator indicator um, in this video I'll be uh, showing you about how you can use this indicator for your trading and then we'll be writing the code for um, using it in our expert advisor so the strategy used for this indicator is whenever it crosses um, above its zero level you place a buy and whenever it crosses its zero level and goes below it you place a sell okay and you close your um, you close your um, buy trade when it goes down to zero and goes below it okay like here you can see uh, this indicator has gone below its zero level you place a sell trade right here and it uh, went above here above its zero level here you close that sell trade here and you open a buy trade okay so let's start using it in our code the first thing you need to do here is create a new indicator a new uh, expert advisor and click next uh, let's call it AC click finish and once uh, this um, uh, this expert advisor will be created uh, we'll uh, start writing our code for the accelerator accelerator oscillator the first thing uh, we need here is to create a function and let's call it AC now you can see here it has the value values in in decimal points so we'll be using um, a double type um, a double data type variable and let's call it AC and AC equals I A C and this is uh, the built-in function which is used to um, um, calculate the value of this indicator at a particular candle for this tutorial I'll be using the very last candle and I'll write uh, the number of the last candle right here as its third argument and it will return us the value of AC indicator at this last candle and that value will be stored in this variable now the next thing is very easy just um, check the condition if AC is less than 0 AC1 equals I AC null zero one ac one i have created two variables um, because we want to place um, a trade at this right moment that means if the previous uh, if the previous candles um, ac indicator has the value which is less than zero and the current candle has the value of AC which is greater than 0 then we want to place a buy trade okay if we will write only if 
uh, the condition if only AC is greater than zero for buy then it will this condition will be true for all these candles so it will keep on placing trades for all these candles okay we want this uh, expert to enter a trade only at this position so that's why I have I have written two of these um, the this the indicator values of um, at index number one at this candle this is index number one and this is index number zero if index number one AC's value is greater than zero and index number zero's value is less than zero that means we should place a cell okay and vice versa so if AC is um, AC1 is greater than 0, 0.00 and AC is less than 0 we will return true and whenever this function will return true that means we are going to place a cell trade because value is greater than uh, greater than zero here and value is less than zero here that means place a cell okay and else if ac1 is less than 0, 0.0 and ac is greater than 0, 0.0 we want to return false and whenever this function will return false uh, we will place a buy trade ok and the last condition I will write here is to return the empty value ok now we have written our function for accelerator oscillator we are now going to use it in our star function let's make a variable and let's call it c c equals ac if c equals false if c equals false that means the previous candles the previous candles um, accelerator oscillator was uh, below zero and the current candles AC oscillators value is greater than zero that means we are going to buy so if this function returns false we will be closing our sell trades and we'll open buy trade okay else if c equals true that means we want to close our buy trades and we want to open sell don't forget to write the order totals function in orders total should be less than one uh, to keep only one trade open at a time. If you want, if you won't be writing this piece of code right here, it will keep on placing trades for infinite many times. Okay, so do write this. So this is all for the tutorial about accelerator oscillator and I think now you can use uh, this indicator in your expert advisors and you can make awesome expert advisors. Thank you for watching my tutorial. See you in next videos.